theopneutos. That means God breathed. God breathed it. Now, God can't breathe error. But here's the thing. After you look at all the apologetics, you get books by Ravi Zacharias. I would encourage you to do that. Josh McDowell, other books that are apologists um, about the Christian faith and how the Bible is grounded in history, which it is. It's grounded in archaeology, which it is. A lot of proofs there. Um, there was, it's unique in its presentation, 1,600 years, 40 authors from all walks of life, 66 books all coming together to agree. You can talk about all those things, but here is the bottom line. Do you believe in a sovereign God or not? Do you believe that God is all-powerful, that he's the ruler of everything, and he wants to be an integral part of our life? And if he wants to be an integral part of our life, then doesn't it stand to reason that he's going to give us a book that we can follow and trust? In other words, if you, if you work on your own car and you buy a, a used car, you say, oh, where's the manual? And you, you dig through the, the glove compartment and the owner says, now, wait a minute, you've got to watch that manual there. It has errors in it. So well, where are the errors? We don't know. Nobody knows you know, where they are. It's all a different opinion, you know. Everybody, everybody's saying something different, so we don't know. Well, I can't trust that. Man, I might tear up my car. And that's true, and cars are important, but not nearly as important as a life. Not nearly as important as a soul. So why should a sovereign God who wants to be a part of our life, who wants to bless us, who has proven that over and over again by sending Jesus Christ to die on the cross for us, why should he ever give us a book that has errors? that we can't trust. Folks, I can tell you this. I'm not a perfect guy. But if I could go by this book, and as a matter of fact, let me, let me just say this. If I could just live 24-7, everything I've preached over the last 22 years, I'd be quite the Christian. It, it's hard, isn't it? But yet it's here. You can trust in the promises of God. You can trust in what it's all about. When our graduates are leaving here and they're thinking, well, I'm going to live my own life, do my own thing. I'm just going to go my own way. And that's a choice that God certainly gives them. But they will waste their life. They will waste their life following their own way. Or can they, they can live for Jesus the way they did in the New Testament and invest your life and have success in life and have fruit in life even a hundredfold.